Admiral's Log, February 15th, 1923. Our previous war with the British lasted six months. It looks like this war is potentially going to be a lot shorter. Our seven battleships of the Baden class made a heroic and phenomenal stand against the British Armada. Salvo after salvo went into the British ships. Destroyers, cruisers, heavy cruisers and battle cruisers were destroyed. When the battle was over, the British had a little under 13,000 dead. 22 ships of theirs were sunk and all others were damaged in one way or another. We suffered about 3,200 casualties and we only lost one ship, the Baden. All others were damaged but remained afloat. They're being repaired as I'm writing this. Some of them have taken massive damage and will need extensive time in dock. The key point here is that they survived. They've shown the British that a mere seven ships were enough to stop their armada of 88 ships. The British seem to have taken this to heart and have instantly sent us a peace agreement. I tore up this document personally. We will not agree to peace. This war has only just begun. The longer we're at war, the better it is for me and my navy, and my budget is vastly bigger. I also mean to squeeze the British for more territory. Losing 22 ships and some 10,000 men is bad for the British, but they will recover. The more ships we sink, the more the British will be desperate for peace. I'm also declaring open season on all British merchant vessels. Eliminating the Royal Navy is one thing. It's a short-term solution. Crippling the British economy is a far larger prize. That is my objective. That is what I want to achieve. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to episode 11. We're going to start with a bit of a sorry state of affairs. The French has collapsed. The French Empire is no more. They ran out of money. And that means that there is no way to claim any of their provinces, sadly, because I would really love to have taken, let's say, one of the, uh, the channel ports, for example. Maybe some northern France, Luxembourg is nice this time of year. All these territories would have been nice to have, but sadly, no such thing. Um, <laughs> apparently, the tension is not quite updated, because even though the French don't exist, I still have a bit of tension with them in the Mediterranean. All right. Uh, oh, and they're warning their head of Admiralty. Guys, they're dead. They're gone. Speaking of, um, we have a couple of capital ships. König Albert, Weissenberg, Kaiser. Um, battle cruisers Friedrich der Große and Sachsen against a couple of British ships. Like a lot of British ships. Now, König Albert, 16.9 inch guns and a whole bunch of 8.9s. That's going to come in very useful. Regular crew. Uh, Weissenberg, same design. We got the Kaiser, one of the old uh, four single 15.9ers. And interestingly, this thing is a 1922 Kaiser class. It's only 1923, but these things are already grossly, well, grossly useless, essentially. Kaiser Friedrich der Große and Sachsen are the same class, the Mars version, the 1922 version of the Mars. 15.9 inch guns and a couple of 8.9s. Let's make short work of those battleships and battle cruiser and force the British back to the table. Although, I'm not so sure I want to have them back at the table just yet. Well, it's going to depend. It's going to depend on how many ships we sink here today. If we can get some decent treaty terms, get some provinces off of the Brits, then sure. Maybe we can discuss something. Now, what are we looking at? We're looking at 20 light cruisers. This is the majority of their fleet. 18 heavies, making for 38 ships. 45 if you add all the destroyers. And a total of 48 if you add the capital ships. I have five. So I'm outnumbered almost 10 to 1. I like those odds. Those are pretty fair odds for them. Uh, let's see, the battle cruisers. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty content keeping these guys as is. Leading the div is the König Albert, and then we got the Kaiser in between and the Weissenberg on trailing. Perfect, normal formations, don't care about collisions, and let's go find something to shoot. Here we go. 
One of the British battleships has been detected and hit. First hit immediately destroyed a casemate. I am wondering how good the accuracy is. It's quite good. Only cloudy weather and morning daytime as detractors to our accuracy. Uh, Saxon does not care. She has a very high level of accuracy. Uh, and she too has this weird... I have one crew member extra thing going on. Uh, I had a good laugh at somebody who commented in a previous video where I pointed this out saying, Yeah, well that's the cameraman. Well, I guess they're not wrong. Somebody has to record these things for posterity. Anyway, um, this is one of those British battleships that has 15.3 inch guns. They are however short barrels, making them far less accurate. Engagement range 15 clicks. Can they even hit that far? Yes, they can. They can hit 18 clicks. Okay. Let's turn the battlecruisers away. There is a more inter interesting target. Mains on that, secondaries on that. Turn back. I was wondering when the smaller ships would start to show, and here we are. Partial pen. Yeah, something fairly light took a big hit, so that the battleship didn't have to. No, that's not strictly what happened. Um, it was just a miss. Pretty much it. Just a miss. Hit something else instead. Let's put you guys back to full speed. Let's put you guys back to full speed. Bloody hell. You're taking a lot of fire there. <laughs> a lot of fire indeed. Okay. Um, before I forget to point it out, I frequently get the comment asking, Hey, how do you turn off the HUD in case you want to make a screenshot? Control, Shift, Alt, Z. Push them all at once, and you format your C drive. No, you take uh, the HUD off, like this. But it also means that instantly you get absolutely no further information about what sort of hit you got going on. Uh, you can sort of make out ships if you really look at them, but just from afar you have no idea what you're looking at. And nine times out of ten it doesn't actually format your hard drive either. Let's see, we got a very nice broadside over here. Oh, and everything missed. Oh, gentlemen. Wasted opportunity. I don't like those. Yeah, this guy's deep inside of a smoke screen. Guns of different barrels. Penalty. I'm not sure if that's new or not. Hmm. It's a pretty hefty penalty as well. Ooh, bloody hell. Now, I know that I'm running 1.08.4, and in that, if a ship takes a full pen, you get a lot of damage. They changed the way that pens work, and you can see that this battlecruiser here, the Saxon, took a pen to the aft belt for 1,075 damage. So, she not only is going to have to work through her different barrels, but also is going to have to work through quite a lot of damage and stability. Fortunately, the, the Friedrich does not have that issue. I just really don't like that guns of different barrels penalty. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think we're going to need a new battlecruiser hull, and we're going to need some new battlecruisers to get designed. Which means that I might need to go to peace with the Brits, so that I don't have to Constantly fix up my warships. There you go. Overpen. Holy, that's more like it. What are you? You a CA or something? You're not a CA. Mm. What's your chance to pen me? Twelve and a half. Alright, it's not terrible. It's not great. We can make it work. Okay. I think we're going to have to need to let the game run for a while and just do some damage. Ideally against their capital ships. We're definitely inflicting a ton of damage, it's just not against the battleships. This poor cruiser that's smoking up the battleship is soaking up a lot of attention. And with a high muzzle velocity, I suspect that it's not that likely that we're going to lob over the shells over the target. Good hit. What are we shooting at that? AP? Oh, hold on, it's not a DD. It's a light cruiser class. Right. Okay. 
Damage done, 10k. Damage taken, 2.5. Battlecruisers took a bit more damage than I normally expect, really. It's another very good hit on the light cruiser. That's just secondaries, right? Yeah. That's just secondaries. Four belt pen, four belt pen. Yeah, it's just the secondaries. Good. Resolution. Russell and your battle cruisers over there. All right. So we're all engaging the Russell, right? No, the resolution. Okay. Checking on this. Yep. We're all engaging the battleship. Uh, this light cruiser is going to have a fairly rough time of things. Destroyed funnel. Yeah, you're definitely seeing some higher damage numbers here. Holy shit. They changed this quite a bit. Relative to the pre... Uh, well, relative to the previous episode, essentially. This is full pens. I think this patch is really good for my ships. Because it means that my secondaries are even more deadly than they normally are. Destroyed funnel. That was a full pen. Engine out. Where's the battle cruisers over there? Okay. Full turn. Hello, Mystic. You torped Weissenberg. Okay, Weissenberg. Essentially the whole diff. Avoid torpedoes if you can. Look at this. The raccoon was being targeted and some other light cruiser got in the way. Mistake. Boom. Again, they got in the way. If you want to live, you got to stop getting in the way. Destroyed funnel again. Destroyed main tower. Perfect. Now, over the past couple of months, I've incurred a pretty hefty damage cost. The repair budget is really being quite strained. And I would love for my ships to return from this battle a little bit less harmed. It's just we're still looking at that massive offset of almost 10 to 1. So I think we're going to take a ton of damage. Now, I'm not sure if the resolution is the major damage dealer here. Out of 4.8, they've done 1.8. Alright, you've done 26. Congratulations. You've done 116. You've done 900. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's not that bad. Alright. Oh. Disappearing act. Nice pen. <laughs> A partial pen. Blocked. Weissenberg is flooding. Torpedo? No. Just flat out damage. I'm not too big a fan of how much damage I'm taking. This is bad. Can we pen this? No. Now, I know I'm broadside with most of my ships. I do that to capitalize on using as many guns as possible. It might not be the right choice in this specific situation. I am going to stick to it, though. It is the strategy they want to use. I just might have to pull the Weissenberg off the line and be fairly careful with the Saxon and the Friedrich. They're taking quite a bit of damage. Doubt we can pen that, actually. So we're going to switch to high explosive on the battle cruisers, And we're also going to switch to high explosive on the battleships. If we accidentally hit something else, then that something else is also quite likely to die. Secondaries. No, 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 no. We're not going to put this... Ooh, that was a big hit. We're not going to put the secondaries on the battleship. Unless we have absolutely nothing else to shoot at. Russell's coming in only using about turrets. Flooding. I think this is a pretty straightforward case of German superiority. I mean, the enemy really cannot do that much. 29k damage done, 6.5k taken. Screw the resolution. Everybody focus on the Russell. 
you guys are fairly decently positioned to deal with the Russell. So, AP shells, 15.9 inch guns, blow some holes in this battleship, yeah? That's more like it. Parcel pen, we got the Roxburg taking some nice secondary fire. I think there's quite a lot of fairly badly damaged ships that we haven't even seen. What are you? CL? CL. Okay. Um, I'm finding that our secondaries against the heavy cruiser are not doing as much as I would like, so let's switch to the light cruiser. Bloody hell. Why is this thing not taking any damage? See, this is better. The secondaries are immediately working over this light cruiser. Quickly. There you go. Overpen, destroyed funnel, destroyed, damaged the main gun, engine damage, flooding. That was what, a full pen? Yeah, four belt pen with high explosive. No less. Meanwhile, the Kaiser's taking quite a bit of damage, that's fine. Considering my high repair cost, I might just scrap the Kaiser altogether. Because I don't find her to be that useful. The Russell is going to go down momentarily. She's going to be flooding out. Done. Okay. Next target. A heavy cruiser. Well, the Roxburg? Nah. How about we target the Achilles? How about that? I'm going to flank around with the other ships. Oh, this is not necessarily great. Oh, that torpedo's fine. Okay. Proceed. What do we have on secondaries? A battle cruiser? No. The encounter. The encounter. Ah, another DD. Lovely. Okay, this guy is now broadside. Pick your own ammo. 20% chance to pen is more than enough to start using AP. Miss, miss, partial pen. Nice. Is this thing more expensive than a battleship? 47 mil? Yes. Achilles is more interesting as a target because it's going to be harder to replace. Shit. Um, you're going to leave. You're going to leave. Retreat. Even with your damaged rudder. We're going to turn around. We're going to screen this ship. Holy. Screening this with the battle cruiser is going to be difficult. If I turn to port, I turn right into the enemy fleet. It also means my secondaries will be more useful. Let's get rid of the Achilles quick. She's already badly flooded. Let's punish her some more. Ricochet. Oh boy. I think Weissenberg is good as dead. 34% crew lost. That's not good. Achilles, fairly heavily flooded. Seems like the flooding under... Con yeah, they got the flooding contained. They're not flooding anymore. Nice. More flooding. Battlecruisers turn back. Come on. Finish off this BC right now. Flooding on the Saxon. Pen. Finish her off. She needs to go down. Those 14.2 inches are tearing me apart. The ship has done 4,000 damage. That's about a third of what the whole fleet has done. Finnick, Albert, and Kaiser are attempting to save the Weissenberg. Just so much fire coming in. Down to 12% buoyancy. Blocked. Battlecruiser, switch to high explosive. Do what you can. Flooding. 8%, 7, 5, 3, 1, sunk. cruiser destroyed. Excellent. Now, we're going to finish off the resolution over here. Great damage here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was a fantastic hit. Give me the secondaries on the Serene. 
No, I don't mean to go there. I mean to assist my damaged ship. 63,000 damage done. Oh boy, you're getting a bit too close to the action there, sir. A bit too close indeed. Starboard turn. You got a damaged rudder, that's bad. All guns on this. Shit. Torpedoes in the water. Should have turned away from the fleet, not into them. The Serene and the Verulam are playing a very dangerous game, getting this close to the secondaries of the fleet. It's just that I think they might actually get away with it this time. There's an extremely heavily damaged Duke of Edinburgh. Some of these ships have taken some damage. There's a the Roxburgh falling back. There's the Bacante with a flash fire. Potentially multiple flash fires. Okay, now we got some armor ish. Uh oh. Torpedo on the Saxon. Gunnick Albert. Where are you going, Kaiser? Oh, you're doing torpedo avoidance. Okay. Gunnick Albert very, very bravely in the face of the entire fleet. Trying to protect her sister ship, Weissenberg. Let me start eliminating ships. Just eliminate as many guns as possible. Everything is smoking up here. Except the Bacante. We're going to finish off this ship. Pick your own ammo. Kaiser. Get back here. Now. A lot of attention that the König Albert's taking. Secondaries on this. Bacante's holding at 9%. 40% chance to hit. Reload is still almost two and a half minutes. Uh oh. König Albert can take this for a while. Just not terribly long. Resolution's done a fair amount of damage. She has 49% damage instability, though. I don't think she's going to be doing that much more damage. Where's the other battlecruiser at? Oh, whoa, the Kaiser got torpedoed. Shit. The whole formation's falling apart. You're still working over the battleship? Alright. I don't think that's the best use of your time. Switch targets. Ignore the battleship. Start f picking other targets. Hmm. At least for the moment, the Weissenberg is no longer the main target. And the enemy fleet is being kept at bay. Maybe I can save this ship. Still got another two hours to fight. It's quite a while. Fortunately, the enemy fleet is so extremely clumped up here. It essentially doesn't matter what you shoot. Just send some shells in the general direction here and you're bound to hit something. Look at this. And I thought my formations were bad. Okay. Proceed. Resolution. Oh, it's tempting to go after this ship. It's just that right now she's not the biggest damage dealer on enemy fleet. You targeting Bacante. There. You got secondaries on Urialis. Okay. Go there. You're targeting Newfoundland. That's uh, that guy. Good hit. Lost sight. Switch to Urialis. All main guns are looking at Urialis now. Okay. How are you doing? Not great. It's about to be made worse. Two torpedoes on the way. I can dodge one. With some luck, I can dodge a second. Ooh, nope. Diplomatic. Ship is flooding two, three compartments. That's not good. 
Ooh, that's better. That's much, much, much better. That was a full armor... Uh, sorry, ammo detonation for 2800 damage. Kaiser, position yourself just across the enemy fleet. Or across the, uh, the Weissenberg, essentially. Slow down some more. Friedrich. Anything useful you can do? Yes. You're hitting the Black Prince right where it hurts. That was the bow. Vetterlam, no torpedoes left. Perfect. We got no AP shells on the 8.4s. Sorry, 8.9s. Look at that. 8.9s did 2,800 damage. 16,000 there. 7,200 there. Urialis is down. Very good. The resolution is down. Heavy flooding. Fantastic. That's a battleship out of commission. That's all their capital ships gone. From here on out, it's just escorts. Just a lot of them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to retreat you. You're too heavily damaged. And these battle cruisers are going to take a long time to replace. Black Prince is down. You're engaging the Roxburgh, yes? Yeah. At least I suspect it's pronounced Roxburgh. It could be Roxburgh. Not sure. Secondaries on the Niobe, please. Mains here on the Kent. Oh, we got essentially one big target here. Let's go for that. Newfoundland and Serene. Here. Oh, we lost them. Okay, go for the Newfoundland. Kaiser is still taking some damage. Dealing with a heavy cruiser. Which one? Bacante? No, with the DD. No, 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 no. Switch to the Bacante. And don't use armor piercing, use high explosive. This thing was out of torps. Perfect. Weissenberg, Albert, turn. Albert's going to try and cover both the escape of the Weissenberg and the Saxon. Meaning that she's going to be very busy. So far, I have not lost a single ship. Kaiser. Can't. Uh. Yeah, four belt pen with HE. 10,000 damage. Nice. Okay. Roxburg taking damage. Friedrich, you're getting a bit too far away from the conflict. Get back. Essentially, I have three ships left. That's all that I have to work with. The rest, that is the Saxon and the Weissenberg, might do something. I'm just not actively putting them back into the fight. I think it's too dangerous. Uh, Koenig. Yeah, screen the, the damaged battlecruiser there. Oh, you're taking a lot more damage than I was hoping. Did you take a torpedo recently? No, not recently. But it is starting to add up, all this damage. Um, that leaves me with one fairly effective battle cruiser. Can we pick off a wounded guy? No, there's not really any one wounded ship. Okay, go for the Niobe. Albert, what are you currently going for? Warrior. There. Okay, <clears throat> switch the Roxburg and slow down. I want you mobile. I want you able to dodge. I do believe, however, that most of the torpedo-capable threats are no longer present. Nice. Some secondaries on that. Friedrich only has a nine percent chance to hit. Good news is, I generally don't need much more than one or two hits on a heavy cruiser to knock it out. Ah, Federlem is back. Hello. That is the target that is being engaged by secondaries. Good. Now they have decided to focus fire on the Koenig Albert. Turn back. She's flooding. That was good damage. Was that the battlecruiser? 
No, that was a battleship, actually. You? Yes. Interesting. I very much suspect that we're going to see the British come right back to the negotiating table. Now, with the dissolution of the French Empire, and most likely the destruction of the British after this, I'm building a whole lot of battleships, and I'm not sure who to fight. So we might have to start gently annoying the Italians. Bloody hell, what are you doing? Four knots. Sheesh. Oh, now you're the focal point. Come on, finish off Niobe. Chance to pen should be about 50. Yeah. Go with high explosive then. Kill that cruiser. Not good enough. We need a bit more flooding. Ah, oh, the Newfoundland. Hello. Wait. That's unexpected. I had no idea the fleet was that divided. Niobe sinks. Perfect. Next target. What are you? Light cruiser. Ooh, that's a nice torpedo. Uh oh. Guys are still taking damage against the Sutlej. Oh, beautiful. 560 damage. Nice shot. Newfoundland lost from sight. Koenig Albert. Still shooting as much as possible. Engage the Endymion, closest target. At this point, I really only have one ship that I'm still really willing to play, and that's the Friedrich. The rest of them just took a load of damage. Uh oh. If you have maneuverability, turn to port. So I don't get finished off by a stray torpedo. No, not, not that stray, probably. Amphitrite. Right. Damage done, 131,000. Damage taken, 26k. Oh, hello, Verulam. What are you shooting? Amphitrite. It's all the way over there. Go for Essex, please. I don't care much for the Amphitrite at the moment. Chance to hit... What are we targeting? The Essex? Chance the pen's good. Go for AP. Kaiser, link up with the uh, Weissenberg. 400 damage. Good. That's the second... No, that's the primaries, I think. Accidentally hitting the Essex. No, it can't be. Primaries would have vaporized that ship. It's the secondary. It's the 8.9. Missed. My ship is suffering from 20% damage instability. It's not as bad as some of the others. Still. <sighs> trying to make all these ships work. It's not easy. Trying to keep them all in one piece is proving to be even more challenging. Switch fire to the Shannon. And yes, I know I should be building more cruisers. I am building cruisers. It's just taking a long time for those cruisers to be finished. That's more like it. Flooding badly on the Shannon. Yeah, that was a, an aft overpen. That cruiser's largely flooded. Please finish it. Fuck. Everybody's focusing fire on the Friedrich now. Come on. 17 million dollar heavy cruiser. Got the Blackwater, no torps. Gibraltar got in the way. <laughs> Cornwall got in the way. <laughs> and instantly got vaporized by the Friedrich. Nice. Uh, chance to pen. Probably not great, no. Light cruiser Southampton got in the way. Switch to the Gibraltar. Oh, oh. Torp. Is 
Saxon is effectively disengaging from the conflict. That's perfect. Friedrich, just do as much damage as you can. Flood all these guys. Make sure they cannot give chase. That's the primary objective. Make sure they cannot chase you. Standard bulkheads. I think we're going to see the Gibraltar go down. Switch secondaries to the Blackwater. Don't use AP in the situation. It's not good. Use HE. Ricochet chance probably fairly disastrous. Yes. Good secondary hit on the Blackwater. Friedrich has done 41,000 damage. Who's leading this charge? 37? 14? 41? 22? And 29. Yeah, the Friedrich has done by far the most damage. So far, I'm not flooding. I'm a bit concerned about all the fire, though. Switch to the scythe. I need to get rid of these small, pesky destroyers. Ideally soon. Come on. Chance to hit is so bad. Get the Carnarvon. That's more like it. Oh, that was the centaur that got in the way. Okay. <clears throat> well, if you want to stay in the way, that's fine. Just at your peril. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That'll miss. Not by much. Yep. Centaur got in the way again. Gnarvan took some hits. Come on. You can do it, Friedrich. We need to have the whole fleet survive for an hour. And then we win. Because then the battle just ends. That's more like it. Go for AP, because we can surely cut right through a light cruiser. My rudder's stuck. Come on. Accuracy's circling around 7. Good hit. Miss, miss. Center with two damaged engines will not be able to chase. So in that sense, the objective is achieved. We have no further ammo for the 8.9s. Just a couple of high explosive shells and that'll be it. That's problematic. At least the most heavily damaged ship, the Friedrich, oh, sorry, the most healthy ship is taking all the attention right now. The other battleships are still trying to pitch in from afar. I don't think they've been doing much recently. So far, though, any damage that they do is good damage. I'm not going to be picky. The problem that I do see happening is that I'm not going to have anybody spotting the enemy fleet. And because of that, I'll not be able to shoot anything, whereas they will be able to shoot me. Which is pretty bad. Missed. Missed. Oh, we hit something else. Nick Albert. Fairly healthy. Just your chance to hit is damn bad. And you got a damage rudder. Okay, so the König Albert's now healthier than the Friedrich. Let's see if we can get the König Albert to do something more. Narvan's proving to be a pretty tough cookie. She's taken some hits. It's just a lot of parcels. Yeah. And as expected, we are losing sight of the enemy fleet. Okay. There's a bunch of aggressive smoke screens over there. And now I have completely lost sight of the enemy fleet. Koenig. Time for you to get back in there. And uh, Friedrich, time for you to disengage, my friend. You have done all you can. You have been taking almost 1,300, well, a little over 1,350 hits out of 22,000 shots fired at you. You have lost 257 crew members. 
The armor has saved you a good deal, causing a lot of blocks and ricochets and lots of partial pens, which I think did most of the damage. Now let's see if we can save this fleet. And indeed we can. This cost the British 10 ships. Noteworthy are the Russell, the Resolution and the Achilles. That is a bunch of capital ships down. A couple of light cruisers and some DDs got, well, quite literally caught in the crossfire. Causing um, a lot of damage and death to most of them. Some heavy cruisers have been critically damaged. And it was a resounding victory. As I get 11,955, sorry, 445 victory points versus 970 points for the Brits. I have lost 1,400 crew. The British have lost 8,500. Now let's see if this is going to tell the British something about their tactics. It is not. Because there's another clash of fleets here. The British are really sending everything they have. And against a couple of heavy cruisers, that is not good. But I cannot retreat, so I'm going to have to fight this fight. Which I will do in episode 12. Hope you guys are enjoying the battles. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.